Those are the things I was like, aha, there. You're welcome, Sergeant Sarcasm. Look up and stay or straight ahead. Oh, and of course, no matter what, wherever I jump is going to go in the same place. So have you. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is gonna work. Maybe it does. Let me screw that up then. Oh dear. I know there is. Right there. Pick a lock. Let's go. Ah. It's a little barrier which he can actually walk okay. through. Cutscene time. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Well, <laughs> all right. And we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Polo. Crap. That's the other statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. And of course, lighting at that up will change the whole area to blue. 
creatures were driven by a great flood tide into the mountains of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great, that narrows it down a bit. But look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, John. As if the ocean itself sought to throw up the terrible cargo we carried from Shemvala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that make something to you? Shambhala. That just sounds like a load of God, fine God. words to me. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. This is a zombie map. If they were carrying the Chintamani stuff, might still be there. So very fascinating that we really got to go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. You sod. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, Backstabbing, right. lying, son of a... Only you overlooked one little detail. Would swear, but... Didn't you, partner? Oh, you're probably getting a so lot of trouble for it. No, I and I can't do that me. right now. Shit. I'm sorry. I didn't know about the ships from the beginning. Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flip, listen, face it, genius. You've been played. Uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings yet. Yeah? No, you sod, now I've got to run. Um, this way. Dying. Ah, oh, missed. Have that, have that. No, no bullets. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I'm screwed. Out the window. No, oh, out of the window. Normally that would kill you. Oops. Whoa. Run. Get to me. <laughs> Take you all on bare fist. Cold. I'm out of here. Be slightly mental at the moment. Hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully. I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. A good chunk of my own, but hey. Jesus, ah. you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah, Drake. No offense, Sully. Mate. You're not exactly the best Drake. judge of character. Jugger. Especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Last summer, Mrs. Davis had to share. Oh. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Fling hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last Mrs. three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. 
and then she had some money stone. How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. Who do you mean they? Flynn and his client, Lazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. Backstabber. If they have to tell the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right over there. Don't ever see it coming. Payback's a bitch. Yes, it is. Look, they called it the wish fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. Not like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire, the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's going to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. And Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any work. Look, if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, Hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. It's just needed to well done. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Great, I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are Dirty. you in? Oh, hell yes. I was yeah. in before you were. Right. Um, this is the end of chapter two, Chloe, I'm going to guess. So, I will see you next time. Um, with chapter three, Borneo, with a really, really bad pistol. So this is Rich 911, Sam Walker, Wally Walker 911, 911 678. Sorry. Um,